welcome to my cat barn. My name is Connie and it's Long Dairy Farms and this is where I take care of all my cats. As you can see they're automatically feed themselves. My cats are first born. They probably weigh about 80 to 85 pounds and when they're weaned after an eight week period they're probably up to about 175 to 200 pounds. I have eight that are on bottles and I feed them uh, a bottle twice a day. They stay in their stalls for uh, two weeks and then I move them from there into the uh, group, uh, group pen and they stay in here until they're eight weeks old. And the program that they're on, it feeds them automatically uh, nine liters a day, but that's divided out over a 24 hour period. So they can come in here and get maybe two liters and then it shuts them off because they're only they have a quota but then they come back two hours later and drink again and that process continues until the next day Uh, Keith's grandparents bought the farm originally, probably back in the 60s, and then uh, they farmed it. We had tobacco, and then uh, we milked cows pretty much the whole time. And then uh, probably six years ago, we built the new dairy, and currently we're milking probably 600 cows at this, at this time. Hello, my name is Brian Long, and I am the herd manager here at our uh, family-owned Long Dairy Farm. Okay, this is the feed that our cows eat. It's made up of nine different ingredients, from corn silage to, to corn, grain corn and soybean meal, just all different ingredients. They'll take that, they eat, they'll eat somewhere around 100 pounds of feed a day or over, and they'll take that feed and, and, and produce somewhere around 12 gallons of milk a day. Uh, okay, behind me is an automatic feed pusher. As you can see, as these cows eat, they keep pushing the feed out away from them. So if you didn't push the feed over close to them, then they would just eventually push the feed out to where they couldn't reach it anymore. And this little guy right here, it runs every hour and keeps the feed pushed over close to the cows where they can reach it. Okay, this is our milk parlor. We milk 32 cows at a time. There's 16 on each side. Uh, the cows come in from the end, they walk in and they have to turn sideways and we milk them from behind. Uh, every one of the cows wears a neck band that has a, has a transponder on it. It's like a little computer chip. When she sticks her head through and that little green box picks up what, which cow she is. And then it starts collecting information. It tells when she comes in, this box right here records how much milk she gives so that when she's finished, I know when she comes in, how much milk she gave, when she leaves, and you know, just a lot of information on it. Um, here, it goes through a line. These are filter systems, so it cleans out any dirt or any particles that might fall off the cow that would get into the milk line. This is a plate cooler. Fresh water runs through that when the milk runs through it, and it takes the cow, it takes the milk takes like 38 degrees off the milk. So the, the milk is actually like 63 degrees when it goes into the cooler, which is this big thing right here. This cooler will hold 6,400 gallons of milk. 
And the, the milk truck comes and picks it up every day. 